Hi, it's Chocolate Sylvie on here, and today I decided because, I don't know, I've been, well, I've been into Animal Crossing New Leaf since it's been out, but I don't know, I just feel like I've been playing it a little more and getting a little more into it lately. So, I decided to talk about why people, like, why I think, why I think people really like life simulation games. Because a lot of people, yes, obviously they're very popular if they keep coming, but a lot of people I do find seem to be like, well, that's boring. Why would you, why would you want to play that? Animal Crossing looks boring. You don't do anything in it. Well, for me, at least, the reason why I love life simulation, like, uh, Animal Crossing and Harvest Moon is simply because, you know, it's sometimes nice to just live a different life, but not necessarily an action-filled one. Don't get me wrong, you know, we love our, our Pokemon and our Fire Emblem and Mario and Zelda and all that good stuff, but sometimes it's nice to just live an actual life, but that's different from your own, like Harvest Moon. I personally would not want to get up early and do farming, but I don't know, I do think it'd be kind of fun to live on, live in, you know, like a ranch type setting, farm type setting, so Harvest Moon is the perfect way for me to do that, but still be my lazy self who does not want to wake up at 4am or whatever you have to to milk the cows and whatnot. In Animal Crossing, the only thing they need to do is make it so that you can play as an animal. That'd be fun. But you know, it's not that, and it's not that life is bad or necessarily boring all the time, but you know, it's just, it's like playing any other video game. It's fun to just live a different life, except this is technically your life. These games are more dependent on choices you make. And I mean, yes, you you make choices in other games, but for the most part, the story's set out in what's going to happen and what you have to do. Animal Crossing, you don't... No game starts the same in New Leaf. You have different villagers and a different town set up. So, you know, you get new villagers, you decorate the town how you want, you decorate your house how you want, you can build it, or if you don't want to build it up, just get it to the certain point you want it, don't pay off any more debt. That's all there is to it. Something like Zelda, yeah, there's a lot of side quests, I guess, that are optional to make it different, but in the end, you're still gonna end up doing the exact same thing that everyone else has done. You're gonna go through the dungeons and you're gonna go through them in the same way most of, at least most other people have. Because maybe there's some parts where you can do something a little different, but for the most part, you're gonna be doing the same thing everyone else was doing. So, you know, it's all the same game. With life simulation, it's not. And again, it's fun to, you know, I want to escape from life, but sometimes I don't want that stress and hardship of Fire Emblem. Sometimes I, I need a break from playing those games, you know? So it's just fun to go into Animal Crossing and work on collecting all the fish and all the bugs and talking to your neighbors, buying furniture and whatnot. So, you know, I think that's why most people like life simulation. It's just another video game, but more relaxing if you're stressed out so you don't have to deal with tension. Anyway, that is it for today. Yes, I got a little sunburned. If I look kind of weird, I look a little darker. <laughs> don't ask me how that happened. I didn't realize I was going to be in the sun all day the other day. So I didn't wear sunscreen. I wore a kind of dress that had thicker straps and whatnot. But it's not a bad sunburn. But anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Bye!